Hey guys, so it is currently December 31st, 2017, which means it's New Year's Eve. And so basically, today I am going to be vlogging my whole New Year's Eve experience because we are going to Chicago. And we're going to spend the day in Chicago and just have a lot of fun, hopefully. So we're going to leave really soon, so I'll see you in the car. I had been planning this trip for most of my winter break, and I was really looking forward to it, since we didn't go on any other trips during Christmas break. I checked the weather a few days before the trip, and we found out that it was supposed to rain for most of the day. And of course, as soon as we started getting closer to Chicago, it started raining really badly, and we started to get kind of worried that the weather might ruin our trip. Before we stopped at the hotel, we stopped at the Welcome to Chicago mural and took some pictures by it. We then drove to the hotel. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by. We finally arrived at the hotel and got to our room. The hotel room was very pretty and a nice escape from the rainy weather. We went to the Land and Lake Kitchen and I got the salmon BLT, which was delicious. We then tried to go to the Chicago River Walk, but it was really rainy and foggy, so we decided to walk to Millennium Park instead. We got so cold and tired that we decided to wait outside of a hotel and call an Uber to drive us to Restoration Hardware. Restoration Hardware is a luxury furniture store that also sells food. It was very beautiful and the furniture was very soft. We then walked to the Chicago 360 Observation Deck. When we arrived at the observation deck, the workers told us that there was zero visibility and that if we went to the observation deck, all we would be able to see would be fog, so we decided there was no point in going in. We then went to Sprinkles Cupcakes, and I used the cupcake ATM to get a red velvet cupcake, which was really fun. Since the weather was better than it had been before, we decided to walk to Millennium Park. We went to Giordano's and picked up our deep dish pizza. After we ate our deep dish pizza at the hotel, I ate my red velvet cupcake from Sprinkles Cupcakes, and it was so good. We then took some pictures using New Year's Eve props to kill some time before the ball dropped. Five, four, three, two, one. Next morning, we walked to the Nutella Cafe. After the Nutella Cafe, we packed up our stuff and drove back home. If there is one thing I learned on this trip, it is that even if things don't go as you planned, for example, it being rainy and foggy, you can still make the most out of it and make it amazing.